So in today's video, I'll show you the ultimate guide online here. And we're going to talk about how we can maximize your token eligibility. So first of all, you want to get the proof of humanity. And I think this is going to be essential because they might give you additional points based on that because you have proof of humanity. Also, when you have this, you can earn your LXP points, which I'll show you in a second how it looks like. I also made one video where I covered the Linear Park quest. So I definitely think you're supposed to be doing them. Of course, not in financial advice, but I'm just telling you how I'm farming Linear. So first, from the group A, you will need to complete one of these. So you can have, for example, Gitcoin Passport, which is incredibly hard to get it. But if you have your wallet for, let's say, two years, I think you should have at least 20 points. Trust Labs is also really simple. So you need to have a plus 60 score. Then you have to mint it. And once you have that, I think after 24 hours, it will be updated. So you can see that in here. Or the simplest one, but you need to spend money is the NFT Voyage, which if you go to Element Market, you can see, like, for example, we have some NFTs there. If I'm going to click on this official collection, so you can only get from Delta to Alpha. You cannot get the Omega one because the Omega one won't give you the bonus points on your LXP points. So it doesn't really matter which one you're going to choose. But my speculation is that, that these tiers, they're going to give you a certain amount of points, maybe a boost. Uh, but you can see, for example, the Alpha is only 26,000. So imagine how many people are farming Lania and the huge multiplier to distribute those tokens could be through NFTs. Because not everyone wants to spend a lot of money farming airdrops. And on the top of that, we have a ton of civils where they farm with, let's say, $20, $30 per airdrop. But if you're going to spend like, you know, plus 500 per airdrop, you're going to be in this smaller inner circle that they care about the airdrop and they want to contribute. Uh, so I think based on that, it might, be, it might be a nice, decent boost when it comes to your token eligibility. Of course, this is just my speculation. It might be worth zero or it might be the Gen Wolf. So that's for the NFT. Another one is Lanier Park, which I showed you guys in my previous video. But we're not going to discuss this one. If you want to learn about Lanier Park and watch my previous video, I'm also going to be covering them every single week. So every single week, I'm going to be showing you how you can pass these tasks. Another one is you want to use the official bridge. We've seen in the previous airdrops that official bridge matters because that's the way how the teams make money. They make money on the fees and they make money through the official bridge as well. So if you can bridge like no matter what amount, I would say plus $30, it's supposed to be good for your airdrop and it's going to count because not everyone wants to spend $10, $15 on the gas. Majority of people send through third party bridges, which are cheaper. But personally, I definitely recommend you guys to use Linear Bridge at least one time. And another one is Orbiter Finance, which is also really cheap. You can send it from another network like uh, Ziggy Sync, a Base, Starknet, Arbitrum, whatever you really want. You can send it to Linear. The another one is Rhino5, which also allows you to do that. You can send from any network like Starknet, Scroll, uh, all of the above. You can send to Linear or from Linear. And they also are tokenless. So maybe in the future when you're going to be using them quite a lot, you might also qualify for the airdrop. The another bridge is all to Finance. And this is also a really cheap and fast bridge. But the thing about bridges, you don't have to use them all in once. You can, for example, use Linea um, official native bridge today. You can come back next week. You can use Orbiter. You can come back next week, use Rhinofy, and later on you can use Alto. It's really up to you what you're going to do with that, how you're going to manage. And one more bridge that we have is Layer Swap. So it's also really cheap. So I definitely recommend you guys to bridge from Linea and to Linea a couple of times maybe like three it will be a really good indicator but you want to spread it apart let's say every couple of weeks you want to bridge in and out so now the first app you want to use today is kyber swap so just select half of the supply and we can click on the swap button and click confirm so once you got that done you can go to next dex which is pancake swap so in here just select let's say um usdc that we have in this wallet and we can select the maximum so now we need to pre-approve it and then you need to swap it back to Ethereum. And doing this quest will significantly help you to qualify for, you know, a huge allocation in my opinion. Because on the top of that, that you do all of these Linear Park quests, which you're probably not going to move a ton of money. But when you're going to be using different DEXs and, you know, providing liquidity, you're going to be moving a lot of money, making a lot of volume. Uh, being really active so i think these two combined they're gonna they're gonna put you well above the herd okay so once that's done you can go to another one which is izumi so on izumi you can do provide liquidity you can also do a swap so we're not going to provide liquidity now we can do it later on so now let's do again we can do 0 0.015 and we can swap it to if to usdc so click on the swap button and then confirm the transaction and of course all of these links you will find down below the another one that we have is meta vault so in here you can do perps you can do swaps so i'm just gonna do a simple swap and we're going to swap it from USDC to Ethereum. So select the maximum and then approve it and swap it. The another one that we want to use is Stargate Finance. And Stargate Finance is essentially the Omnichain bridge, uh, which if you have a new account, I definitely recommend you guys to use it because it helps you to bridge your funds from one network to another one. 
So let's say you have your fans only on the Ziggy Sync or Lania or maybe Ethereum, maybe just Ethereum and Lania. So you want to send it, for example, to base. And from base, you want to send it back to Linea. And you can do it from base to Optimism, from Optimism to base to Linea. Whoever you really want, the more networks you're going to mark, ultimately, the better for your wallet. So let's say we're going to select the Linea here. And we're going to send a little bit of our funds to Optimism. So let's say we're going to send 0.05. And later from Optimism, we're going to send it back to, or we can send 0.01. And from Optimism, we can send back to Linea. So click on transfer and you're going to pay small fee for that so you will need to also confirm the transaction if you have older wallet already you, you might skip this quest if you transfer funds between optimism and different l2s uh if you have a new wallet i recommend you guys to do it uh because it might come handy later on so now once you send your funds to optimism the another bridge you can use is the key bridge so here we're going to send from optimism or whatever different network you send it to so we're going to send it from optimism to back to linea so you have some certain balance in your wallet. So I'm just going to send 0.01, click on transfer and click on confirm button. So now we basically use two different cross chain bridges. Another one you can use is Velocore. So just connect your wallet to it. And then you can swap from Ethereum to, let's say you can swap to any other of these tokens that you see here. Uh, so I'm just going to do it to USDC, click on the swap button. And once they're done, you can go to another app, which is Wufi. So let's just launch the app and here just connect your wallet. So you want to be on Linea network and also you can swap from uh, Arbitrum to Linea and you want to use Linea on the bottom as well. Or if you want to send it to another to another chain like Arbitrum, you can do that as well. So it's a cross chain bridge also. So in here, just we're going to select our USDC. So select the maximum amount. You will need to approve it and then swap it. Another one is Sushi.com. So in here, you want to swap to Linea. Just connect your wallet, connect your MetaMask wallet or whatever different wallet you're using. And again, you want to do simple swap 0.1 Ether to USDC. So just approve that and swap that over. And now we're going to swap it back. So first you need to approve it and then click on the swap button. Another one is XY Finance. So here this is the cross chain bridge also. So you can bridge from Arbitrum to ZK, from Ethereum to BNBs. So whatever you really want. But we're going to keep it simple. We just want to do everything on Linea. So just select Linea here. And you can select Ethereum and you can swap um, and you can select the Linea on the bottom as well and select USDC. So now just say 0.01 and then click on swap and bridge. If you want, I recommend to send to different L2s. You can send to Mantle, you can send to Base, to Arbitrum. You can also send the Ethereum or you can send USDC, wherever you really want. So I'm just going to do one more swap and I'm going to do USDC from Linea and I'm going to send this to Base and we're going to get Ethereum. So click on approve the swap. And you'll see it's going to use the open ocean as the router. So once you're happy with that, you can click on the swap and bridge. Another one you can use is Dmail, which is really easy to send quick TXs to boost your transactions on your wallet. And each transaction is really cheap. So you can send your email from Web3 to Web2, basically to, let's say, Outlook.com. So let's say um, you're going to say, let me just skip all of these. And you can just say gm dot, um, dot gmail.com then say test and test and you can send it and you'll see you're gonna pay 10 cents for that so you don't have to spend a lot like for example you do a bunch of different cross chain bridges or swaps if you want to spam cheap transactions you can use an email but of course uh don't abuse it too much you just want to say for example let's say maximum 10 and you want to just move on somewhere else and do a lot of different transactions using different protocols so the another one that we have here is echodex so in here we can go to airdrop tab first and we can click on the attend and we're going to assign a cheap transaction uh, that we attended to it and that's basically going to cost us 20 cents so once you have that you can go to swap and you can swap let's say 0.05 to let's say usdc so click on the swap button and once you got that we're going to go to sync swap and on sync swap we're going to do also basic swaps so in here just swap your usdc to ethereum so unlock it first and then swap it and last really important you need to provide some liquidity because we've seen that liquidity also matter and it's also good for your own chain activity so it looks like you are actually contributing to the chain so let's say we want to provide liquidity to usdc and ethereum so select this pair and then you want to click on deposit and here we can just select 0.05 and if you're happy with that you just click on deposit and you can leave it for a week or so and then you can come back and remove it so all of these main and activity quests that i showed you just a second before they're gonna put you well above the herd if you want to get a nice allocation on the top of that you want to complete the linear park so if you haven't seen my video yet definitely do so i'm gonna be updating you guys with the new videos when i'm gonna be covering each particular week in detail and if you guys found this video useful go to my twitter because this is where i update you with some good info about the airdrops and also ordinals and here's the thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and i'll see you the next one